And we're live. Hey, everyone. Hey, guys. Sorry for the late start. I really appreciate everyone being here. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we saw in the comments there were indeed technical issues. Uh, not one, but I think about three. We had microphones not working. Yeah. We had software issues, all kinds of stuff, but better late than never. And I appreciate everyone's patience. I feel like everyone's going to be really happy that we've got a screen to ourselves today. Like they can see <laughs> for the first time ever. We're, we're not smushed up. Um, <laughs> I can see there's a lot of Aussies. Um, and oh, Penny says can't hear me. Ho hopefully, okay. everyone else can. Yeah, let us know if you can hear and see us both clearly. Yeah. As well, please, guys. Please. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of Aussies. It's ridiculously late or early it for is. you guys. So I really appreciate you being here. Crazy um, much. It's my personal challenge um, to try and get through every website in like how long have we got like 75 minutes or something <laughs> so um there's there's about 34 websites i really appreciate you guys um suggesting them all and this should be fun so i'm going to give like um i don't know two minutes of kind of context and then i think we should jump right in and get straight to the goods what do you reckon SJ? Yeah, so we need to be obviously super quick by today because we weren't quite expecting the response that we got yep what are you doing over their websites in super exciting um, I know, obviously, if you guys have been on the call before, we normally do the sort of screen sharing segment and then we do a bit of Q&A. Yeah. Um, because of the sheer volume today, we're going to have to kind of skip past the Q&A. Um, Tom will just go through as much as he can. As your website is being reviewed, feel free to pop in the chat because I can read those out to Tom. Yeah. Um, but um, we might not be able to do the, the actual Q and A section today, unfortunately. So yeah, and because the whole time I'm going to be firing through, I'm going to have your websites open. I won't be able to see the comments, so keep the comments going. But SJ is going to have to kind of relay what you're saying to me. <laughs> um, but this should be really fun. And to give you guys a quick bit of context, this is actually how I pretty much got my career off the ground when I was a freelance designer, because I was involved in a forum message board for entrepreneurs, and I started a thread basically saying I will critique your website for free. Um, just because I'm a big geek and I love this stuff. Um, and I think it got up to between four and 500 people in that thread. It really blew up. It was like, I think their most popular thread ever. Um, and I just kept doing that week after week after week, reviewing people's websites. And on the back of that, I established myself as a bit of an authority figure in that community for web design. And I started getting clients and some of my best clients and then referrals came from that. So just, I really believe in the power of, you know, giving value, giving value away for free, trying to help people, and then karma kind of repays that in my eyes. Amazing. So, so yeah, that, that's where it all began. So we're, <laughs> we're going back to like... I uh, feel like that like a long time ago for you now, actually. Yeah, that was, that was a while ago. But <laughs> it, it was really fun, and I've never stopped loving doing this. It's always well, been one of my favorite things. When Elf comes on and talks about it, you're like, I could do this all day. I, yeah, like when Preston was on <laughs> yeah, yeah. critiquing portfolios, I was like, I just wanted to talk the whole time. So, um, yeah, thank you for all the suggestions for the websites. As I say, I'm going to try and get through all of them. Be aware that um, I'm going to have to go pretty quick, probably like two minutes per website. SJ, yeah. you might have to speed me along at certain points because <laughs> I'm not good at being concise, as you know. Um, and you will probably hear a lot of similar advice because generally there's like some fundamental things to focus on. And so I predict that I'm probably going to be making the same kind of three to five points over and over again. Yeah. And I'll try and give you some specific points each person for how to, uh, how to action them. Yeah, so if you didn't obviously send your website over, if you were too late or you didn't sort of weren't brave enough, then definitely still have your company for it already because I'm sure a lot of this will be applicable to you and you'll be able to take certain things away regardless of, of where you're at with your own. So yep. I, I've, got, I've got mine ready, not that <laughs> Still a lot to be learned. So you're um, learning a ton though from these hangouts. I you am, keep dropping yeah. knowledge in the office. I'm like, damn it, nice. <laughs> I just wanted to say hello. There's been a couple of comments as well saying hello to Teresa. I know we haven't seen her on a hangout in a while. And I also did notice there's a couple of newbies here today. So hello if this is the first hangout you're ever joining. And no, Jeff, I'm not on the gin today, just just the water. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, I wish a little Hendrix and tonic was going on. However, we are all going out tomorrow night, so. <laughs> yeah, that's <should> fun. <laughs> we should, yeah, look out for our stories. You get some embarrassing dad dancing, probably. <laughs> From Matt, obviously, not us. I mean, it is normally Tom, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, do you guys want to jump straight in? <clears throat> are we ready? Yeah, let's jump in. So, um, 
there were a couple of websites which really annoyingly wouldn't load. So if yours don't get covered, they, I think they were being blocked by our firewall. Yeah, Reach well, out to me afterwards if I didn't get to yours. And I promise I'll give you a critique on Instagram or something like that. And equally, I'm going to do my best to get through all of them. But if we don't, maybe we do like a, a round two of this or something in the future if it hopefully goes yeah, well. Good. So, yeah, again, appreciate you guys being here. I'm going to jump straight in and yeah, yeah stop, me, stop me at any point, SJ. Uh, I'm going to yeah, I'll let walk you know. really quick here. Crazy guys okay, <laughs> cool. And you're uh, you're my eyes and ears in the comments. I am. All right, I'm going to share the screen. <laughs> um, cool. Is that working? Yeah, Hopefully. look good. Nice and cool. clear as well. Perfect. So um, yeah, Here we'll we kick go. off then. Yes. And I can't remember the names behind every single website. So, so yeah, make sure you uh, jump in the comments and let us know if this is you. Um, because yeah. if I come away from my screen, I won't be able to see the chat either to check who this is. So if you're here, this is your website, let us know. <laughs> and final kind of caveat before I get going. Um, obviously, I'm going to call out some positive things. But because we're short on time, I'm mainly going to give you areas to improve. So please, no one feel like I'm being at all negative. But rather than just being like, oh, this is really nice. I want to be like, you know, you can fix that and that and that. Um, yeah. and hopefully that's going to be more helpful. Definitely. Cool. So kicking off then with Speckled Bliss, I land here and get that headline, you know, welcome to Speckled Bliss Design Studio. Great. So I can see it's a design studio. Take a look around and enjoy a collection of surf and wellness illustrations. Right. I'm, I'm kind of losing, like, what do I do next? Like, take a, a look around is kind of like, okay, look at the illustrations. But when I hover on them, I'm unclear of, like, should I click through? Are these case studies? Are they selling illustrations or is this client work? And I don't quite understand what I'm meant to do on the website. It's some lovely work. It's a great gallery, um, but I'm, I'm unclear. Is this someone who wants me to potentially hire them? Like, I, I don't really know the next steps. And I can see there's a shop, uh, there's an about section, but really you need to give that to them on a plate because as I always say, website visitors tend to be very, very lazy. You can't expect them to dig around. You need to take them by the hand and handhold them to clarity. And you need to do it very quickly because yeah. people's attention span online is zero. You I'm know, a even, lazy person. I'm like, if I can't see <laughs> the first five seconds, I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> That's it. And statistically, it's even less than that. You pretty much have like a second or two to instantly hook people in and be super clear about, okay, I understand what this website's intention is and what it's going to do for me. Yeah. So um, I don't know if the person is in the comments, but... We haven't had it yet, but please right. do let me know. Okay, so um, yeah, as I say, I can see like, great, they do, they do some nice illustration, but I really don't know if I'm meant to reach out to collaborate with them or work with them or buy pins off of them. It's really, really unclear. So I would get all of that information right here, nice and high in a really compelling, clear headline. And I always talk about this call to action. So call to action is where you're prompting them to do something. It can normally be a button or a link. So if the headline clarified what the site was for, and then it had a button of either hire me or go and shop the illustrations or whatever it is you actually want them to do, that's super important. Um, when we go down, the newsletter um, is it's good, but really you want to give a bit more context to what they're actually going to get. So get speckles of bliss in your inbox. It's nice tonality that I can see fits with the brand, but it's very unclear. I'm, I'm just thinking, well, what are you actually going to email me? Because people need to know that. They're very precious about their inbox, so they need to understand how often are you going to email me? Like, yeah. what are you going to be sending me? What's the value? Remember, it's always about value. Is this worth me giving up my email and what I'm going to get in return? And this doesn't tell me what I'm going to get in return, so probably not. Um, and then we kind of get this, which I presume is a social feed that's being pulled in. I'm never a huge fan of doing this, to be honest, because you, you generally want to use your social profiles to push people to your website to do something, whether it's shop, hire you, or whatever it might be. Uh, Preston talked about this. This is almost the reverse. You're like pulling people off your website, back to your Instagram in this infinite loop. So often it's not the most effective thing, but I do like the work. I like the colors. I, I, I can say I really like the color scheme actually. Yeah, I like the brand. Um, if I'm being super fussy, I think here the line spacing feels a little bit out as well. So the visual hierarchy gets a little bit lost. Maybe you could condense it just down to one headline, which would make the whole page cleaner and then give room for that call to action and so on. But definitely a good start. And I hope those tips help. Wow. Hope that 
impressed at how concise you've been. <laughs> I'm trying. Well, I'm going to have to speed up. I think, but um, and yeah, let let me know if we've got any comments coming in. SG. No, not yet. So no. I, don't, I don't think that person made it, but they may watch the uh, the replay, which I'm sure will be really helpful. Okay, cool. And guys, if you've got any questions um, or thoughts as we go, like please chime in. Your comments. Yeah, I will, really I will read them out for Tom. I know he can't see them, but if you want to say anything at all, I, I will put your voice in the comments. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so next website is Timeless Roots. And straight away, I land on this site and I think I have no idea what this website does. Again, and this is going to be a very common theme, I predict, because it's a very, very common thing for websites not to be clear enough. And again, I like it. It's got a nice style, but this logo is absolutely huge. Yeah, we've got some comments saying I love the uh, the logo there. I was just thinking the same. That is brilliant. I really, really like that. It, yeah, it is. It's very cool, but it doesn't like fully explain what the website does. So visually stunning, but personally, I would make it a little bit smaller because right now it's pushing everything down a little bit below the fold and I know the fold that's where the website kind of cuts off in terms of what you see when it first loads yeah. it's a bit more flexible these days with responsive design and so on but generally as a principle it's good to get the key clarity and the good stuff higher up the page so you can see it upon page load and here this is kind of half cut off I can't really understand what's going on without scrolling further down so I would shrink that logo up um, actually I think the visual hierarchy this is like the boldest thing on the page so all the attention is going to the menu but that should be more secondary so ideally you actually want them to be looking at a call to action in some way or perhaps like something here which explains what the site's all about but this is really kind of grounding the page and holding too much attention for me right now so i'd knock that back and use those spots of color for calls to action um, i'm really not a fan of sliders like this and they've actually statistically been proven to be a little bit detrimental in terms of user experience because generally people only ever see what's on the first slider anyway. It's quite yeah. unlikely that people are gonna go through, so it's almost a bit of a waste hiding stuff away. Mm -hmm. So really you should just lose the slider and give your most compelling thing up here. And, and here I'm looking at like bunting and flashcards, but again, it's not super clear. I'd love to land on this and, and basically be told, um, this is the place to be if you're interested in flashcards and bunting or animal alphabets or graphics or whatever it is that you're selling you need to really give that on a plate and make that super clear from the word go so we've um, got a yeah. and i think it's quite fitting as we're talking about that flat top section and um, lorraine says is a navigation panel in essence not a cta then uh i would say generally not um of course like you get different um extents so it's a call to action in that like people can click through and do an action but generally the call to action you should have one main one standing out on each page so um, it would be something like hire me do this next see more of my work yeah. uh, when you've got this many options I wouldn't regard that as a whole to be a, a call to action cool and um, Tiana has said um, tips on how you would instantly portray the fact then that you are a designer I feel like from the experience that I've had on being on these calls it's yep. about what you're trying to get hired for, right? So yes, okay, you are a designer and you can show loads of the things that you've worked on, but you need to be showing the stuff that you want them to actually hire you for. Would that be right? Yeah, and a lot of it comes down to the headlines. So um, rather than answer that question right this second, I know there's a few portfolios. You can see all the websites up the top here that I'm going to get through. Um, and some of them I'm actually going to break down how they could do that better. So hopefully that will answer that question. Okay, I'm just sorry, Tom, before we move on. I think there's yep. a couple of... Um, sound issues here some people can hear only me some people can only hear you um but everyone else is saying they can hear both of us so okay uh, sorry, sorry guys <laughs> Maybe a refresh. okay a yeah i'll turn it off and turn it on again <laughs> that tends to work um so yeah then we got the uh got the newsletter we've got the social again i kind of touched on that before um and the footer for me i, I appreciate they're using a theme so it's got some of the theme details down there uh, which doesn't really add anything to the website. Ideally, you'd want to lose that. Um, I think generally, good web design is about actually what you take out, right? Like any design. I think yeah. of it as spring cleaning. So um, generally, if you've got one aim for the page, in this case, it might be to explore more and shop. It might be to hire, etc. Everything you take out is going to increase the odds that someone does what you want. So simply by stripping out these social posts, stripping out that little foot a bit, um, and, and that kind of thing. It's going to encourage more people to do what you actually want them to be doing on the page. 
So I hope that helps. Uh, we, we've got Le Leah uh, Design here. Yes, and if you're in the comments, let us know. Hello. <laughs> amazing. So um, this is a very, very um, cool portfolio. There's some excellent work here. Uh, yeah, I saw this one earlier. How cool is that? Love a good warm so, really nice. talented designer. This yeah. is similar to what we talked about with Preston. This is what I like to call gallery syndrome. Yeah. So it's a fantastic collection of work, but again, it's lacking some clear things. It's lacking the value proposition for potential clients. It's lacking the clarity of what you actually offer, and it's lacking a clear call to action. So the work itself is great. I would argue it's generally a good idea to actually show less that kind of quality over quantity so mm -hmm. it all looks good but if you maybe picked the top 25 percent of this work then you could actually go a bit more in depth because remember people are lazy so i can see here if i click this it will take me to more details but generally adding those extra pages those extra clicks are something that most users aren't going to do they want it on a plate right yeah. in front of them when the page loads so let's say we reduce this grid down to like the best five designs then right here on this page, you could actually give the name of the uh, the project. You could give a glowing testimonial yeah. and, and then have a, a link if you really want to go more in depth than that. Um, and I think as well, like talking about steps, it's not just clicks, it's hovers. You know, that is a hover, like that's a step I need to take. I need to move my cursor, go over it to learn yeah. more information. That's asking something of your visitor rather than just giving it to them. So the less you can ask and the more you can just give it on that plate, it's going to be really helpful. So for me, I'd, I'd reduce that grid. I'd give more context about the uh, key projects that remain. I would have a clear call to action, which I'm going to presume is probably to hire you. And I would love to see a big compelling headline, which yeah. is spelling out the value you offer the client. So whoever asked about the, uh, the copywriting side, remember it's about value. It's not about you. It's about what you can do for the potential clients that are hitting your website page. So do not say like, hi, my name's Leah and I'm a web designer or I'm a graphic designer um, and I like this kind of work. That's not really gonna cut it. It needs to be more about, um, here's what I think I can do for you. Identify, it, it could be, I do this type of work for these types of small businesses and I can like bring you value in these ways. You'd yeah. obviously word it a lot better than that, but that's the general sentiment that you want to go for. So if I land on it and let's say you're trying to target small business owners, if I'm a small business owner, I need to think, okay, this speaks to me. Clearly she does work for people like me. I understand the value I'm going to get from my business from working with her. Um, and I feel kind of compelled to reach out and get in touch. That's so the Dave, general principle. Dave, our good friend Dave has just asked if, I could ask you, um, would you actually use the words hire me or does it sound a bit too blunt for want of a better word? No, I see tons of like really successful designers using that. I don't think it's blunt at all. Gets to the point. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, it's clear it gets to the point. So I hope that's helpful, guys. Um, we still haven't had any of these people comment yet. I don't think so. It's theirs. I don't know. <laughs> they're all Australian. They're in bed. Um, <laughs> So yeah, this is a German designer, so I'm not going to try and get through all of the copy. I dug through it earlier. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a, lot of, a lot of German text. You can probably see a bit of a Are pattern. Are you going to pronounce the website name, John? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, very similar to the last one, albeit quite a different style of design. But again, we've got that kind of gallery syndrome. We've got the rollovers. The work itself is gorgeous. The typography is gorgeous. If anything, I kind of hover over there and I think what gorgeous typography, but I don't see it without me as the user having to take that initiative and take that step. Yeah. So I'd love to see um, some kind of compelling, clear value laden headline. I'd love to see some taking them by the hand and giving them that direction through a call to action. <clears throat> and in the headline, absolutely, you should be pushing that, that amazing red, you should be pushing that amazing typography because I think your brand here is really strong. The work is really strong. Um, but instead of this big gray here, you know, this gray blog, you could actually use this to uh, highlight the project to the right, give it a name, give it a testimonial, give yeah. some key wins that that client got. Just give some context because right now, um, this is just quite a lot to take in and I almost yeah. don't know where to start. So remember, always take them by the hand and give that direction. Jeff had said that some of these look like they're using kind of like a similar theme, website theme, <laughs> a problem. That they're quite similar. 
Um, I, I don't think they're like problematically similar, but I do think using a theme can often give that theme like feel. Mm -hmm. I'm not against themes, but I think if you use them, do try and customize them as much as you can, because especially as designers, right? I feel like we're kind of more prone to get judgment if we use an off the shelf theme, which just smacks of like being very generic. So don't be generic, use a theme for the framework, um, which ironically, I think uh, this next website by Teresa, I think this is based on a theme, but it doesn't feel like a theme to me because she's really put in a lot of work to customize it. Okay. So this um, website by Teresa, it is, um, and this is actually version two because I worked with Teresa. So this is quite drastically different from version one. I actually think it's a really good example of a lot of what I'm talking about. She and has a really there in the chat, so she can chime in occasionally as well, which is cool. <laughs> So yeah, it's, um, it's a really strong brand. She's actually rebranded because um, her old brand was slightly muddy and unclear. So she's got this real punchy yellow. She's got lemon sort now, like oh, fantastic yeah. name. I know it's beautiful, right? Yeah. She's got clear like headline and she instantly explains what she offers. You know, it's friendly, fast, it's first class design service. She's experienced and she loves providing bespoke high quality work on time and even says the type of work she does. That's not a lot of text, but as a client, I can skim read that in about two seconds mm -hmm. and just think, okay, great. And you can see how powerful it is having that call to action because if I cover that up for a second, potentially, what do I do next? I'd be scrolling down, I'd be thinking, okay, I'm bouncing around, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what I should do, but that's quite a logical, like, okay, yeah, we should chat. That sounds like a good fit. Yeah. If I want more context, I can scroll down and I'm getting these gorgeous visuals um, from client work that she's done. These are really, really stunning. And she kind of uses this to intersperse services that she offers. Yeah. And this is in quite an engaging way. I think you never want to be too text heavy, right? Um, the same way you don't want to be too image heavy with that gallery syndrome. You also don't just want masses of text. And so she's combined them really nicely, I think, where it's like you can enjoy the work, you, you can be kind of lit up with the visuals, but equally you can get a feeling for what she's actually providing as a service. Yeah. I'm having to keep drinking the water here. My throat's gonna go otherwise. <laughs> um, yeah, and in terms of the mailing list, again, you can see, I, I could argue maybe the background's a little bit busy here and um, I'd love to see a visual that wasn't perhaps more of a, a photo feel to it and something that actually supported what I'm gonna get here. I'd love to, like in a single second to look and just understand visually, oh cool, here's the value of this newsletter. But in general, she's saying like, you know, she's gonna incentivize you by giving freebies and discounts. She tells you how often she's going to email you. And so the value is very, very clear. Um, perhaps put something a bit more exciting in the headline. So join my mailing list. Um, I've touched on a couple of times, make it less me, 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 and make it them, 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 right? So yeah, join. Yeah join my mailing list like even the wording of that is very me and and so that wouldn't necessarily grab me but if that got reworded to something where it's like you know telling me why i want to do this thing because it's going to help me as the visitor that would be a better way to frame it in my opinion because it's very generic just to be like i have a newsletter sign up you yeah. need to get people more than that and the headline is so prominent you should be grabbing that attention right there just read in the comments everyone's absolutely loving Teresa's site loving the, the yellow it's gorgeous and, right and the way it's all laid out and uh, a couple of people are asking what platform Teresa's used and Teresa's just double checking that she's okay to say so feel oh free yeah 100 percent uh, we're all here to help each other today <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, Teresa nailed it. I almost wish we had the previous version because that was pretty solid yeah, too. It it's, it's, it's come on leaps and bounds. So yeah, there's not too much I can kind of pull apart here because um, we've already been working together. So next we have Anna Wyvie, I'm going to go with. What do you think? Yeah, of? I can just... <laughs> Anna V? Anna, Anna V? I don't know. Okay, I had, I, I had a quick skim through these earlier. If memory serves, if I hover over the search, something weird happens. Yep, there we go. So just pointing out that's a bit of a, a kind of website error where that jumped down. Again, let us know if you're here and in the comments and this, if this is you, it'd be great to, to chat with you. So again, here, it's like, okay, we've got a really nice brand in the making. I love got, the, the kind of theme here with the sort of like pastel colors and stuff works really nicely. Yeah, like that confetti feel. It's really, really nice. So colors, beautiful, quite a distinctive style with the typography and that kind of shifted type effect. 
um, and it ties through. It's generally very consistent. You know, um, it's not bouncing around. I think it's quite a consistent aesthetic throughout the whole site. Mm -hmm. um, and then we go down and we've got the footer and so on. So starting from the top, um, stock and mock. I presume that means uh, that she sells mock-up templates and stock images, which she kind of elaborates on here. Um, I would maybe go a little bit more in depth in terms of like who they're for. Um, the same way Lisa Glanz is pretty explicit saying like, I do very whimsical style illustrations for people like this. Don't be afraid um, to go a bit more specific like that. Cause I think so many people, they, they keep it vague. They're like, I do design, I sell yeah. images. You know, there's nothing wrong with like really painting the picture of for people like this or in this particular style. Um, I think maybe it's, oh, okay, I clicked off and it popped back up, but um, yeah, my eye, when I go down, it does bounce around quite a lot. So it's all beautiful, but in terms of leading people by the hand, you need that visual hierarchy. And right now it's like, I want to look at all of the stuff. Yeah. I feel like I'm getting high looking at this page because <laughs> it's, it's like sugar on a web design page, right? <laughs> It's just, it's a lot of color, it's a lot of text. There's like the grid kind of bounces up and down. So there's perhaps some visual um, alignment issues vertically. And literally it's like, I'm just bouncing around up and down here, jumping from color to color to color. I don't know what to look at first. And so for me, the biggest thing to improve this website, which is very promising and very good, is just take people down the page one step at a time. Yeah. What do you want them to do? So first and foremost, it's like give context, which you've done here to what you do and then what's next do you want them to start looking at your products do you want them to look at your most popular articles like what is it so i would write down on a bit of paper the actual hierarchy of the page do this number one do this number two do this number three this number four and then i would very clearly map the visuals of the layout to that so it's not just a giant grid of all the things it's very much like you know it feels like I'm meant to look at things in this order. Think of when you get like a headline and then a subheadline and then body text. Like it's very clear which one you look at first, second, and third. The yeah. same thing absolutely should apply to your website. I don't think um, if, if the website is owned by an Anna, I don't think they are with us. Okay, Not. no worries. Maybe watching the video. I, I'm, all right, I'm gonna keep going. Have we got Tiana? She was yes, messaging me earlier. Oh, cool. I've seen her in the chat somewhere, if she's still here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. So I, I actually, um, I like this website a lot. So what do I like? I think it is like really bold and clean. Yes. I think it, it's quite a cool logo mark and typography going on there, like a super clean menu. It's just, it's really professional. It's a nicely done website. Obviously like super impactful imagery here. Don't really beautiful photography. Oh, I love it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, so like the, the photography is is really, really cool and eye-catching. I think what's lacking for me, again, is that, that headline um, or that context because right now I'm thinking, okay, well, I see creative here, but all I'm seeing here is cars, so I'm a little bit confused. Is this, is this like a car-related website? Is it a designer? Is it a photographer of cars? Like, I, I really have no idea, and I shouldn't need to scroll to get that information. Yeah. So if we go down a little bit, so she said, I'm just going to, because she's live in the chat, I'm going to just read out what Tana said. So, um, and yeah. Tana said she was aiming for clean. That's the aim here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and she's nailing clean. Um, but I think in a couple of quick steps, she can nail clarity as well. Mm -hmm. So this definitely, as we get down here, it's like, okay, give your business a fresh new design. That's great. Like, you know, gives a welcome. It says, I do this kind of work. And then it's kind of got like the, the benefits of working with her. And I really like this. I think this is great. This is what I'm talking about. This is value. Yeah. Um, she's going to help grow my business. That's great. She's going to be flexible. She's going to be cost effective. Um, and all of that's fantastic. I would definitely look in terms of giving this a hierarchy. So put the most important ones first. And I presume that's going to be probably grow my business. I'm going to be more worried about her growing my business than I am her being flexible, albeit that being quite important. Yeah. And cost effective yeah obviously she doesn't want to undervalue herself but what i do love is i love how this is laid out yeah because like yeah, what what people do normally is they mash all of this into a giant paragraph yeah and here i don't feel like my eyes bouncing around i feel like i read it left to right mm -hmm. and i can very clearly kind of pick out 
and in about two seconds flat understand the benefits of working with her. So I think that's super smart. I'll be honest at this point, I read all this text and I'm still thinking, okay, why the cars? Yeah. Because I kind of skimmed it from like the headline to the benefits. I have to really dig back and be like, oh, okay, she kind of works in the automotive industry. Yeah. So that, that makes sense a bit. But I think there needs to, you know, really, if she's trying to get those clients, I would shout about that from the world go, word go. So I do it in the headline. I do it all throughout here. Um, I, I, I would kind of own that space more because right now it's tucked away. So it's just a bit of a disconnect for me. Yeah. Anna agrees. She's like, I definitely need to put a headline somewhere. She's also getting a lot of love in the comments. So well done to you, Joanna. Yeah. Gorgeous website. Um, so great that you're saying about passion. Again, I would prefer to like, re it's, you know, obviously good to be passionate, but I would prefer that you reframe that in a way where it's immediately valuable, valuable for clients. So I know when I did web design, one of my biggest um, like standout things was that I could improve their sales overnight. I was, all, I was like the convergence guy. So I'd give them a nice looking website, but my sales pitch would basically be, well, if you pay me within three months of getting me to redesign your website, you would have paid for my fee because you'll be making so many more sales. Yeah. And so I would put that kind of thing on my website and that'd be very compelling for people. So for Tiana, she needs to put something here that is more about the client where they just go, oh my God, that's a no brainer. Um, people do this thing as well on their CVs and it's a bit of a pet peeve of mine because it's basically saying like, I'm not 100% good at these things. Yeah. And we, we all see them in resumes, right? Um, where it's like, well, I'm like, you know, 100% in Photoshop, but I'm 50% in Illustrator. And I never look at that as a positive. I always think, well, why are you telling me you're not <laughs> an Illustrator? Yeah. Um, so I think it's normally something that's just kind of built in because it looks nice, because it's like an infographic. Sure, yeah. uh, but I actually think it, it's generally perceived in a negative way. Um, so I would just take it out and I'd, I'd go with something more like what she's got up here, where it's just very clearly kind of articulating the benefits that she can bring. Um, and also... I'm not mass. I mean, this is a better call to action down here. Um, these are kind of getting equal importance. I would argue you probably want someone to like email you the most. Um, and so there's some hierarchy issues here. This is like the first time I'm really getting a call to action. I would love to be seeing something much higher. You know, I'd be having one here. I'd potentially be having one even up here. Yeah. Um, they shouldn't have to dig through all of this information just to finally actually reach out and get in touch with you. Yeah. yeah. Nailed it. It's a really, really great website. Yeah, thank you very much. Cool. So next one, we've got Alda. And uh, with Alda's website, again, this is a very clean website. It looks pretty nice. I like that up here she's saying uh, she splits the time. She's got illustration and ceramics. She's giving some context. Okay. She's kind of giving a bit of a call to action that we should hire her. But I think there is equally things that can and should be improved. So one an alder in the chat but i didn't i might have missed that so let us know if you're here cool the do um yeah do jump in sj because i realize i'm talking talking super quickly <laughs> here, so i'm trying to there's like chat going on between each other about each other's website so i'm just trying to make sure that i'm not like just reading out everything um, and <laughs> also skim read for the things that you know are relevant to what you're saying so yeah <laughs> <laughs> they are very chatty today though tom <laughs> i know you can't do that but they are <laughs> awesome i love it um yeah so i land on this website first thing i think is like why the giant gap here so again if we're thinking all the good stuff should be as high up as possible generally um it feels like dead space yeah. right it feels like wasted space so if it were me i would pull this up i would really reduce the padding here i think this is like prime real estate for actually getting across what you do and whilst you do do that um again i would frame it in a way that makes it more about the clients because this is very me 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 as we all have a tendency to do so i split my time between this and this and as a client i'm thinking okay well that's good for you you know, that's very nice. I'm glad you enjoy enjoy your creativity and your hobbies, but how, how does that help me? How's that going to benefit me? So I would reframe it in that way. And similarly, it's like you've got your name there, but we've already got that in the domain. We've already got that at the top of the site. This is very valuable space. And I don't think this is kind of adding anything to your message that clients should be seeing. So I would get, get rid of the name here because it's repetitious. And then I would have a really compelling headline bit of text here where instantly they're like, oh man, well, I'm looking for exactly that kind of thing. I understand the value you can bring for me. And then available for hire, that's awesome. But I, I think here it's, it's unclear. It's like, that looks like it shouldn't be clickable. I know it is, but 
I would argue you could have a stronger call to action with a, a bright button or something yeah. like that. You know, contact me. That's more of a, a call to action rather than just write, writing your email address out. Yeah. Um, and I think as well, like lovely personal photo, but I would again try and get across something. So not just like, you know, that this tells us something, you know, there's a person behind this website. They look nice. They look friendly. They're smiling. Mm -hmm. um, but I would take it a step further. So it's like, maybe have you actually working? It could be you illustrating or like with some of your ceramic work, something that gives it a bit of context about your skill set. Because again, we shouldn't have to scroll down to start digging into that stuff. It should be right here. And this feels almost more like a, um, like a personal website as opposed to a professional portfolio at this stage. Yeah. Um, and then if we go down, this is all great. But again, I'm not a huge fan of like having to roll over again. Remember how lazy people are. Like think of it like a sand timer that expires in three seconds when someone's on your site, right? I know that's kind of undue pressure. Yeah, it, it is. Yeah, we've got like that, that ruthless countdown timer. So we're on the site and literally it's like three, two, one gone that's the, that's the attention span right so unless i'm like three two one i've hovered over here i want to see more about big pothead you know what i mean it's <laughs> it's quite um quite a lot to ask of the average website visitor so by giving them more straight away and then enticing them down here and then giving it to them on a plate instead of just the, the giant grid the slight gap above the images and the other photo at the top as well it's just an extra bit of scrolling oh like here. yeah yeah exactly so you've got like padding here yeah. yeah, like everything's just getting pushed down um, unnecessarily, I would say, but some really cool work as well. Like talent is generally not the issue with these things. It's just positioning. A nice organization, yeah. And also, uh, this is all right, this is a top tip. You don't want to get to the bottom of the page and not be able to do anything and have to scroll up to do what she wants. So if this is the call to action to hire her, right now I need to scroll down. I need to try and get more clarity here. I scroll through the grid. I get to the bottom of the page. And then I'm probably just going to leave it because it's quite a big ask for your users to be like, okay, I have to go all the way back up mm. past everything I already just saw, look around and be like, oh yeah, there it is. Is that a link? I'm not sure. I'm going to click on it. Is that, you know what I mean? There's a lot of steps. Yeah. Um, and I can't say enough website visitors. They are lazy. They have very low attention spans. <laughs> so you need to treat them as such. So on to the next website. Have we? I, I actually know Jazz messaged me. It's too late for her. I she was I, I Jazz, but no, she said she was going to watch the replay. replay. Um, so yeah, this is a uh, again pretty nice website. I really like the uh, the framing here with the background photo. Very Sorry, professional well, photo. Jimbo and Jay are just spinning off. So thanks for joining, guys, and hopefully you'll be able to catch the rest of the replay. Yeah, I hope it was helpful, guys. <laughs> They feel, um, they feel like they've learned that, so that's cool. <laughs> good. Um, okay, so yeah, we've got Jazz's site. Um, slightly here, again, perhaps a little bit me, 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 because it's like your design superwoman. I do like the branding of that, but equally, we've got her logo here, Jasmine Designs, and then we've got a giant version, Jasmine Designs. Again, <laughs> a bit repetitious. This is prime real estate. So this is where you should be articulating instantly, like the kind of people that you're helping with your services and the value that's in it for them and what you can offer them. Yeah. So I, I would position it more that way, but the background's very cool. As I say, uh, super clean, love the colors. I love the colors because they remind me of ours. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> Getting designed for swipes. Website, like last year, I think it was. Okay, good choice. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So this, like that adds nothing right about me. Um, if you were going to make it about you, at least kind of word it in a way that is more engaging, but it shouldn't be about you. It should be about them. Yeah. So you can equally, you can talk about your skills, but you need to reframe it. So this valuable real estate here should be a headline that's articulating what you can do for your potential clients. Uh, the same way that, uh, was it Tati, not Tatiana, Tiana, yeah. the same way that Tiana did in her area. I would kind of make it more along those lines um, about that value. This is quite a cool, clean visual going on here. So I feel like the further we get down on this site, the more value we actually get. Yeah. So it's kind of back to front. So now it's like, why work with me? It's like, okay, so, uh, you know, credibility, 100 satisfied clients, that's fantastic. Industry experience, little quirky thing about the coffee consumed. This is generally all really good stuff. 
but it's right down here and most people aren't going to go through the process of reading and scrolling and reading and scrolling they need to be given that stuff super high up on the page because it's priority and again similar thing it's like we've got some lovely work done here we've got some great case studies i wouldn't do load more posts i think that is i don't know it seems a bit janky and broken i would give everything right here they shouldn't be clicking there and load more posts seems like something uh, that's like a, a remnant of a theme maybe um so yeah I'd, I'd i'd move these up i would do the thing of more context rather than having to scroll which everyone loves to do um and then in terms of download my portfolio um at first i, I was like i, I kind of skimmed this i was like is this a newsletter i'm not sure because I'm, I'm used to that for a, a field so it's like maybe have some visuals alongside it that represent what they will be downloading and then this for me wasn't a clear button it was kind of just like floaty text so i would make it more of a button and when i hover the fact it goes the same color as the field here white on white it's kind of visually confusing right it doesn't it feels like it's another field to actually type something in instead of a button to click and generally a good idea is you want to reserve a single color in your website for your calls to action and your links and that kind of thing yeah. so let's say um I don't know, like this this blue, for example. If the blue was used nowhere but the buttons and the links, then you instantly associate any blue with something that you should be clicking on. Yeah. Whereas if you use it everywhere, it kind of dilutes that and it, it has less visual um, clout, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, we've got client reviews. Um, again, people are lazy. They generally don't click around. They don't stick around. So I don't think you need to have a bazillion testimonials like this. I always say quality over quantity. Um, I'm helping a bunch of people with this. I've, I've been working with Lauren Holm on her website. And I think rather than like all of this text and all of this scrolling, it's like pick out the absolute best one and then think how, how far can you push it, right? Sorry, were you about to say something, Esther? I was agreeing with you. <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so like see how far you can push it. So let's say that Stephanie's testimonial here it's head and shoulders above the rest in terms of you know how fantastic it is. It's like, can we get an actual image of Stephanie to accompany that for extra yeah. credibility? Can we give some context to it, like how you and Stephanie work together? Can we show the project that you uh, you helped Stephanie with, yeah. and maybe some stats? Yeah. Like, I would like to see what you did for that person. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm quite a visual person, so that could just be personal preference. But for me, I, I like real time being able to see how the end product actually came out you know mm -hmm. 100 percent. and um you know as we scroll down here i see text i don't want to read it I, I just scroll past it whereas if i saw a visual like here's stephanie smiling and even better like a photo of jazz and stephanie together to show yeah. they actually did meet up and work together and like the amazing project they worked on maybe even like an embedded video case study to add yeah. super amounts of credibility you yeah, mentioned in the comments earlier about um the scrolling i was I'm not experiencing this, the scrolling images or whatever at the top, you were saying people don't generally click through, would yep. a video maybe perhaps work instead, which I think is an amazing idea. Like mm. how would it be to have a video where you can just be like, well, now I know exactly what they do because they just showed me in a video, you know? Yeah. And so always think when it comes to web design, what can you take out to simplify? And then when you've simplified, like we, we had stickers, right? Simplify, then amplify. So you take yeah. out all the clutter. Hero images. Thank you, Megan, for uh, getting the words out of my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> um, images, you know. <laughs> so, so yeah, like take out everything you can, get it super simple, super like spring cleaned, and then think how with the stuff that remains that really works, how can I make that more impactful? So prime example of that is here. I'm going to go from 12 testimonials to one, but yeah. then I'm going to make that one testimonial really hit home visually and stand out and, and just be amazing instead of something that people want to skim past and then she's got the global partners bit and blog area i'm probably gonna to have to move on for time but basically it's a great website and hopefully yeah, there's you like to when you watch it later Jay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cool so this one um ovis ovis body yeah um, let's see if it's you if you're here it looks like uh they sell these kind of artisanal soaps and that kind of thing I am not like a hundred percent sure this, I feel like I'm on a product page, Yeah. But this is their homepage. Oh, right. And so th this is quite unusual. So I, you know, it could potentially work uh, as a homepage. If I'm being super fussy, I think like um, perhaps this is a little bit luminous and doesn't really go with the overall vibe of being like 
kind of pastel, you know. Yeah. Um, but I do think you need to kind of go and look at some of your bigger competitors and people in this space that are doing homepages very successfully. I think it would make sense to give that overall context for the website. Um, what makes you different? What makes you stand out? The same way, you know, people like Lush, they've got some very clear, like unique points. So when you land on their brand, you understand like what they do, what's special about it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not sure, like relax, you've earned it. Like that's nice. But it, again, it doesn't really clue into like, okay, why should I shop here as opposed to somewhere else? How do you feel, Tom? I've just noticed there's like a, a thing about the sale at the top. Click here for details. To mm -hmm. me, that's quite small because obviously you're sharing your screen. But how do you feel in terms of like if there's like sale things and like buttons that are like, go and do this now, like flash sale or whatever. Do you feel like they should be quite large and quite noticeable or more? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I mean, they work. I'm not necessarily against them, but look at the banner that we used for this call. It was very visual. Yeah. You know, it, if that was like a tiny bar with a bit of text, being like website critiques happening here, you're, you're practically whispering it, right? <laughs> website critiques happening here. Like, it, it, it doesn't... We can still see your face, by the way, when you get up really close to the camera. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, for, for me... Um, I, I could focus on like minor things stylistically here, but I would just go away and construct like a proper homepage layout wherein um, it highlighted perhaps best-selling products. It yeah. highlighted that context um, of what's unique and why people should shop there, maybe special offers, like all that kind of stuff uh, rather than just jumping to a product page. Because I, if, if I go here, I think, well, I don't want to buy this because I don't know who you are. I don't yet trust you. Mm -hmm. And you haven't, you know, there's nothing here that makes me think like, I'm going to get, you know, give you my credit card details. <laughs> unfortunately. Um, it's not a badly designed site, but it just lacks context for me. Yeah. Um, so next we're on to Rachel Hart. I actually, I like a lot about this website. I think it's really clean. I like the logo mark again, very simple and clean, but beautiful. I think the colors are stunning. I think this typography is absolutely gorgeous as well. Don't know what font that is, but I want it. Yeah, I really like that. So um, again, rather than just like stroke Rachel's ego, I'm going to try and pick up its. Is it Rachel? Rachel? Uh, no, it's not. No, okay, because I know Rachel. Rachel was in the chat, and I'm like, who? Is this? <laughs> it's Rachel. Well, she is in the chat. Rachel, get vocal. I need your support. <laughs> um, yeah, but for Rachel Hart's website, um, again, super clean, really nice. There's case studies here. Um, as we go down, we can see the type of work that she does. That's really nice, I think. There's some nice visual examples. It doesn't, like this, right? I look at this, then I look at this, then I look at this. It's got clear visual hierarchy. It doesn't have a billion things competing for my attention. Yeah. It feels like quite a comfortable experience scrolling down the page. So I think that's great. Projects here. Um, what I make, you know, going in a bit more detail here, what I say, we've got some teaching and, and blog posts called out. So what could be improved? First of all, um, there's context here, but I would argue it could be um, a little bit more unique because that's effectively, someone goes on your site and that's saying, I'm a designer, I'm a graphic designer, I'm a web designer. It's like, okay, well, there's a million others. What's special about you? Yeah. So I do need to understand in that crucial headline space, like how are you going to help me? What kind of people do you do this work for? Am I the right fit for you? Are you the right fit for me? I, I need to try I'll, and get to that. I'd like to see if, like, at the moment, this is all we can obviously see on your screen. So this is what happens when you first click on it. Yeah. I love the, the kind of little caricature person waving, but for me, I'd like to straight away see what, what it is I'm going to get. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure. yeah yeah like it could you could even have like in the background here like a little grid of like some of your best work just as a supportive thing like okay you're this kind of designer and clearly yeah. your work rocks um the illustration is cool but i'm not sure it's like reflective of the overall style so this is all super clean super slick um and then this is almost a bit more cartoon like mm -hmm. and i'm not sure i'm loving like the gigantic arm hand as well that's slightly scary um <laughs> It's really nice, like it's a great illustration, um, but for me, it just doesn't tie in with the rest of the site. If I cover it up with my hand as I'm looking at the page now, the page suddenly feels a lot cleaner. And yeah. I would personally use the space, as you alluded to, Ashley, for like showing off perhaps some work or 
or some other more clean visuals. Um, and then call to action right here. You know, that would be such a perfect place to have a really prominent call to action. What should people do next? But they're kind of left floating around and then you're putting the onus on them. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to scroll. If yeah. I want to see more. Um, so I think this is, uh, this is great. Again, maybe you could bulk it out a bit more in terms of like um, that value prop. So instead of me, 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 what I do, it could be like, you know, how you've helped businesses with this type of work. Yeah. Benefits they've got that kind of thing. Um, I told you, you know, there's a lot of similar patterns here, which I knew I'd end up repeating. So, By the so way, much. sorry, Tom, just interrupt you. I don't actually know if we told everyone that we're staying an extra half an hour today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've just yeah. realised the time. Um, normally we'd be saying goodbye at this stage, but because of the amount of um, links that we got sent, we are doing an extra half an hour today. Mm -hmm. So we will be going through this for another 30 minutes or so, just in case you guys were like, why are they still going? <laughs> and because it's like 15 minutes late because of endless technical issues. Yeah, true. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I, I will speed up in a sec because I really want to try and get through everything. Um, but again, like this is such valuable tech space and what I make, I'm not sure that's kind of adding a lot to potential clients. This text could be something that excites them and compels them and really fires them up to work with you. And what I make is perhaps a little bit um, bland. They're quite, quite gappy as well in terms of like you know the where the text and where the images are there's that slight gap underneath the, the what i make yeah I, I, the padding doesn't offend me um so much on this website because i think it it breathes a lot and it does feel very clean and nice on yeah. the whole um I, 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 yeah i just think like again even projects it's like i feel like that could be something that, that grabs you more um and then, yeah, that classic thing, you get to the bottom of the page and it's like, well, if I don't want to click on these articles, like, what do I do next? So there's no primary call to action. There's no hand holding. There's no like, you know, you can have a whole footer section here. Like, if you're ready to hire me, like, here's how you get in touch. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, as I say, gorgeous foundation for it. Love the colors, typography, brand. It's all really nice. The colors are getting a lot of love in the comments. Um, speaking of colors, this has got a lot of them, this website. Oh, cool. So, this is the uh, Makari. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. Yeah. Again, please do let us know if you're uh, in the comments live, so we can chat to you. Um, so, with this particular website, oh, wow, um, Dominique K. Hello. Oh, cool. Okay. Hey, Dominique. So, um, I'm like a robot, just repeating, like, please let us know if you're here. <laughs> Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, I think, um, I think with this site, like, there's a lot to like, right? Really yeah. slick, really clean, really impactful. Really cool color. Um, I almost think it's like overwhelming with the sheer amount of color. And I talked about this a moment ago about having a unique color for your calls to action. They've gone so single color with their palette that this perhaps doesn't command as much attention as it should because all my attention has been pulled over here to the right with that mm -hmm. really bold, impactful illustration. And it's just such a sea of color. You know, it's so noisy in terms of that color um, that I almost don't know where to look. And it starts to kind of, pull away from the visual hierarchy. And it's really difficult because it's such a stunning illustration. I'm not saying to get rid of it. I think it's great, but I, I would just, I would do something that helped lead the eye where you wanted it to go a, a little bit more. Yeah. And I know here as well, I'm a huge fan of the grid system and using proper alignment. And I feel like it's slightly odd that this is kind of, this, this button's like center aligned. Yeah. Under here. Uh, for me, it would really flow and pull the eye naturally down if it was all left aligned here and had that clear alignment. Yeah. Um, and again, this is like perfect space to really sell yourself. Like looking at this, I, I understand you're a creative agency, but I think like, what kind of work do you do? Is it all like this? Is it all like this clean, awesome illustration? Do you do anything else? Is it for someone like me? I have no idea. So I'd be trying to give that information and that value proposition here. Um, and I feel like right now you've got your name here and you're just repeating it here in giant letters. And that's perhaps a, a bit of a waste compared to what you could be using this space for. Teresa said that she remembers that was one of the feedback that you gave her about the alignment and how much more sense it makes now. Having yeah, it, it does, right? Yeah, it feels a lot neater, whereas right now it's a, a bit bouncing all over the place. Um, but yeah, honestly, in terms of repeating the name, imagine if you went on our homepage and it just said design cuts in giant letters. <laughs> Instead of talking about how, how we can help, you know, give the best quality resources and that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so when you get down here, again, it's really clean. It's really lovely uh, in terms of the design, but it is still just a sea of noise where it's like, do I click here or do I look at this big colorful box or this big colorful headline? Um, 
I just feel like perhaps it needs scaling back a little bit with the secondary areas. And then with the key areas I should be looking at, my eyes should just naturally weave down the page and know what to look at next. Can I ask uh, a question to Dominique, actually? Um, yeah. what, is, what is Magari in terms of, does that mean something? Maybe, is that, am I just stupid? I don't know what that means. Or like, does that, is that come from somewhere? Is it a name of somebody or is it a phrase or something? Just That's just me being interested. <laughs> um, and while we're waiting on the answer, um, I th this page doesn't show work. So again, it's that extra step. I need to I need to scroll down. I need to read through all this. I need to find this call to action button here, and I need to click it before I actually see any of your work. And so I really think on the home page you should be showing people the kind of best work you can do, just so you wow them and they have more of a reason to actually get in touch down here. Nice. Magari, Magari is a word that can help your spoken Italian become more natural, almost like magic. I like cool. it. <laughs> um, so this site, very, very cool. Um, again, love the typography. This is Clenny.com. And let us know if you're in the chat, Clenny.com. <laughs> and also Smith has got to head off. So thanks for joining Smith. Catch you soon. Yeah, always good to see you, Smith. Um, so with this website, I actually quite like what they've done with this kind of um, three column approach. So you've got logo. Oh, okay. Got... So this is, um, I please forgive me if I put to this, I want to say Chen. Yeah. In the chat with us. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Sorry, cool. I pronounced it wrong. Yes, Thanks, Chen. thanks for being with us. Um, awesome. So yeah, I like the three column approach. Um, so it's like logo, menu, and then a whole thing over here for like, Ask Lenny um, as a bit more of a call to action because that obviously pulls the eye much more than if all these were lumped together. I do like the dynamic moving video background. It's obviously very eye catching. I think that's going to improve the amount of time people want to naturally spend on your website. As I said, I like the typography. Um, some alignment issues here as well. So maybe you're doing it just to kind of arc the eye around here, but I feel like it would look a little bit cleaner if everything lined up to the left here and you could experiment with maybe losing a little bit of padding between those call to action buttons. Um, for me, I would just toy with the, um, with the opaqueness of the video because I feel like uh, there's a fine line between it, you wanting it to be quite, um, quite easy to see and it detracting from this text. Because some of the videos, it gets really hard to read some of this text yeah, on the live the, video. The little boxes, the text in the boxes that we, I can't see where your cursor is because of our <laughs> videos. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's quite busy. It's, it's moving. It's got this kind of like texture um, to it as well. And so whilst it's engaging, I feel like it is currently detracting a little bit too much from this. So you can maybe knock it back just a touch. Um, and then I'm, I'm slightly um, confused about, you know, exactly what they do. Like SJ, can you tell what they do from this? No, I, because like, the way the video is, I would say maybe even like some kind of like lecture type thing, but mm -hmm. like that's because of the video looks like kind of, kind of lecture, you know? Yeah, so it's it's only this bit down here where I'm like, oh, you offer content and tools designed to help designers personal growth. Also, Chen, just out of interest, is that you in the video? Or I, th I think it is, it? yeah. So um, yeah, like, this is great. This starts to get to the heart of it. But I would find a way perhaps to like incorporate this into the headline, but in a way that's more snappy and less dry. So you don't literally have to be like, we offer content and tools. Maybe that's a bit boring for a headline, but I would clarify what it is you actually do in that space because that text is tiny right now. So it, it almost... a designer, but more onto event speaking. Okay, perfect. So um, yeah, as, as I say, like I think that needs clarifying here. And it's a very common theme in terms of what we're going through. The copywriting could yeah. maybe use a bit of tweaking in a lot of these sites. And I'm not surprised because copywriting is so hard. It's something we're struggling with right now. We're rebranding and, and working on ours. So I'm, yeah, I realize it is one of the toughest parts of design, but I wouldn't overlook it because you can create a gorgeous website like this. But if someone lands on it and they think, I don't actually quite understand what you do. Remember, website visitors are lazy. They're not going to click around to figure out. They're just going to leave. And just to confirm, so I know this came up when we had the call with Preston. When Tom says um, copywriting, he doesn't mean like the legal copywriting. He means like writing of the copy that's going to go on there, like the text. Yep. 
is that well explained? I did probably not. <laughs> no, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, but she has got these call to action. So if we lost these, I'd really be thinking, okay, what do I do next? Apart from, I guess, scroll. Yeah. But here it's like, okay, I can see more of your content. I can check out the tools. Um, but I would want to click these much more if you'd give me that initial context in terms of like why these tools are great and why you offer them and how it can help someone like me. Yeah. Um, so this is great, like really nice typography. You can see there's not a billion things to look at here. Like this is the kind of thing where it's like, I actually want to read that text. Really engaging pitch where it feels balanced. I want to yeah. scroll down the page. It's a nice experience. Why do I do what I do? It's great. Again, I'd love to angle that at like, how is it going to help me? Or how is it going to help your intended clients more? Yeah. Because nothing lights me up. When I'm on a page and I'm like, oh man, I feel like this is written for me and I instantly understand how it's going to benefit me yeah that, that's better than like here's why i do this or like here's here's my kind of backstory um i would say the uh the text feels a little bit inconsistent so to explain what i mean you can see here this is a different font right from here and it's like that the rule of limiting typefaces right you wouldn't design a poster ho hopefully that would have like 11 different fonts on it because mm -hmm. it would be visually confusing so I think it's really good to be consistent because look, you've got this headline text here and yeah. then you've got different, different font here. You got this font here, but you've got a different body font here. So yeah. I would, I would get consistency. I would use this for all the headlines. I would use this for all the body text and suddenly the whole website is just going to hold together that little bit more because even if people don't consciously notice it subconsciously, something kind of twigs here where it's like, Oh, it just feels a little bit less professional, a little bit more consistent. And it's such an easy fix. Lorraine has said, what are your thoughts on the, on centering the body text like this? Yeah. So, um, this doesn't like offend me too much. I think, um, I think it does look nice and clean. So I'm not saying never do it personally. I do quite enjoy left aligning it. I think <laughs> it's a more natural way of reading it. I think it generally, um, looks a bit more balance because your eye tends to bounce around a little bit more when you've got like orphaned words like that yeah so um yeah i think that's that's generally a stronger way of doing it is to left left align it um so then you've got these testimonials again if i'm being brutally honest like they look great but right now i just kind of want to scroll past them but if they were supported with visuals and there was one of them not three of them then i'd want to hone in on them more yeah um and then here again it's like I'd love to know what this is. So is this a, is it a course? Is it a book? Is it a video series? I don't really know. I feel like I need some visuals. Yeah, I can't um, get that text on here. <laughs> yeah, like the, the background image, um, I feel like it's, it's representative of fear to some extent, but I feel like it's not really showing what I'm going to get. Oh, so it's a bit more documentation. What's that, sorry? Chen said, personal journey documentation. Okay, well, um, I'm not sure what format of that that's in, but is that like in worksheets or workbooks or something like that? If so, there's really no harm. Like not everything needs to be kind of so abstract um, and arty. Like you can, you can present it in a really nice, beautiful, clean way and still be like, here's a workbook and here's what this thing actually looks like and here's like the bullet pointed benefits of, of getting it. Um, yeah, the, yeah, the no. next question from Chen was, um, was was it a good idea to inject some personal into the website? Personality, I think. 100%. So you want personality, you want clarity. What you want to avoid is being vague or ambiguous because remember, people are lazy. They're not going to dig around to figure it out or like scan every word to try and get to the heart of it. Yeah. Um, but personality is great because you don't want to be generic the same way you don't want to just be like, I'm a designer. You want to get your tonality in there. And for everyone watching, if you click the green button below the video, that's um, a more in-depth video I did on all this stuff. And I really kind of explained it the way yeah. that when you understand your audience and who you're serving, you use the kind of words that they're going to resonate with. You know, if you're talking to 13-year-olds, you're not going to use the same language you'd use for a website targeting 80-year-olds, for example. Yeah. So you want a combination of like speaking in a way your audience is going to like and using your authentic voice. Um, just to remind you, Tom, we've got about 15 to 20 minutes. No, there's so many websites. No, okay, no. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go super quick fire then. Um, right, this one, beautiful work, super clean, 
Uh, I'm sure at this point, SJ, you could probably tell me what's wrong with it. What do you think? Yeah, I'm just trying to read. What does that say? Jude, Jude. Oh, I think Jude's in the chat, actually, if, if it's cool. Jude's. Yes. Hi, Jude. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> I'm okay. too close to the camera to read it, so sorry if you guys just got um, so SJ, I know we're, we're speeding along, but what's two things you love and, and two things you think should be improved? Um, I think I, do, I love the visuals. It, obviously, mm -hmm. I can see straight away what it is that, that Jude does. Um, but lacking in that call to action kind of tagline of what you're going to do for me or what I'm going to get from you. Yeah. Yeah. I told you though, there, there would be patterns here. So yeah, me too. I, 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 I love it. Ready for the hard truths. Okay. So <laughs> dude, I, I love the colors. I love the work. I love how clean it is. I love how minimal it is. It's not like clouded out by loads of extraneous detail. So some really big positives there. Um, what needs improving? I think you need to give that that value proposition, that context to your intended clients. How are you actually going to help them? They need to understand that in an instant. You do need a more prominent call to action where it's very clear that's what they should do next, which presumably would be to get in touch. Yeah. Um, and I, I would, again, go a little bit um, quality over quantity. So you haven't got that many projects here, but they lack a bit of context. So is it that, yeah, again, it's like a... Um, a hover type thing not a huge fan of that i would love to see this here with some text to the side with the name of the project with a testimonial from that client with some key wins from that project um right on a plate for me when i land on the site so i hope yeah. that helps bob did just make a comment saying jude's name could also be slightly bigger I, I i slightly agree with that only because i was trying to decipher from the url what the yeah. name was <laughs> Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's visual hierarchy, right? So it's like, is this all part of the menu or is it the head? Yeah, exactly. Um, so next slide, we've got Creative Bay, B. Um, and we just hit A. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we've got Christian Gives, Prints and Bible Journaling Supplies. So, I mean, it's not a headline. It's more of a um, slogan type thing. Okay, so this is Hannah, I believe. Hi, Hannah, in the chat. Cool, what's up, Hannah? Um, so, I mean, looking at the site, it looks pretty clean. It looks pretty good. I like the hand-drawn logo. I like the, um, font, the name as well. Where does my eye kind of go first? I kind of take the logo in and then it goes straight here because it's super bold. And if I'm honest, I probably would scan past that. that so the image on the left is that? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I would scan past the tagline here and I would just go, okay, great, Bay. Um, what's this image here? And then I go over here to the right. Can you see my yeah. cursor? Now I can, yeah, I, because you of can. where I'm yeah. on the video. Okay. Um, so stitch your own sign, choose your colors, pick from eight phrases and relax while embroidering your own hanging sign. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'm understanding like this is a Crafty. embroidery kit and I can shop now. Um, and then I go down here to see more and it's like, okay, so they also do jewelry and gifts and featured products. Um, <clears throat> and a newsletter so it is not a bad start at all but instantly i i don't really understand like what's special about this site compared to all the other ones that exist out out there selling similar stuff um i feel like you can maybe make the head head header head area if i could speak <laughs> i've been talking non-stop here um, <laughs> you can make that a bit smaller so maybe it's like you put the logo in the top left then you put the main menu under the sub menu top yeah. right everything moves up the page a bit more. And then instead of slapping this particular product straight in their face, maybe this appeals to some of your audience, but for a lot of them, it's not so relevant. So I would rather give like an overall context again of like, you know, here's what we can bring you and why we're so great and why you should use us. And then right under here, it's like, you can actually start just showing some of your most popular products, mm -hmm. um, which you have further down here. And then I think under that, maybe you can show like, and here's some of the main sections in the shop if you want to go explore. A little bit yeah. more and then with the newsletter again it's like um give some context join our newsletter it's very me 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 you know why why should someone it's like great okay it's got news products discounts but at a glance i don't really understand the value i'm going to get so i would put that into this headline text here i would add some visuals that are going to compel someone to sign up because right now i feel like um you know that, that that's not going to be a big driver for people yeah Equally, I've talked about using colors for the call to action. So I feel like this gray is losing impact because there's a massive gray around it. Um, and we can just see some issues here with padding, which I would fix. So I'd try and go full width on the footer because right now that's cramped up against there, which uh, unfortunately looks a little bit 
unprofessional and that probably will hinder sales. So anything like that, where it looks like a website error, is going to make people trust you less, unfortunately, Hannah as a platform. Happened yesterday. She needs to fix it tonight. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, I figured. Um, so, but what, while we're here, you know, it's great having social links and so on, but imagine if this gets fixed, so the credibility goes up, and then you have stuff like um, a refund policy, 30-day money-back guarantee, or this many happy customers, or a trust pilot, or whatever it might be. This is a great area to really build trust and, and credibility. And right now, it feels perhaps like a, a little bit of an afterthought. Like, as a visitor, I feel like everything from, from the newsletter down is not really going to help me. Um, it's not going to build trust. It's not going to build rapport. It's, it's just kind of a little bit stuck on. And I feel like that's very indicative of a lot of people's website footers. It's there just because it's kind of a done thing. Yeah. But if we're being really harsh, good web design is about asking yourself, if this doesn't really add something, then take yeah. it away. Yeah. You know, strip it out. Um, so I, I, I think it's really promising. For me, um, maybe the gray feels a little bit much. I would love it if she could experiment with some some cool palettes because, you know, look at this. This is awesome. You know, the, the gives look really great, really engaging. Um, but I'm just getting like quite a mass of gray. And I appreciate we're getting the yellow highlights, but I feel like there is an awful lot of like big gray areas. And that's yeah. kind of turning off my eye a little bit. So I, I would experiment that, with some brighter that, colors. That bit where the products are sort of shown is quite, for me, quite themey. And then you've got the amazing hand stitched stuff at the top. But it's almost yeah. quite um, working well together. Is yeah, that, yeah, I know what you mean. Colors, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so uh, going to go on to the next one. Um, again, I would maybe lose this top area because straight away, if we go there, it's like everything gets pulled up, and see how much cleaner that gets. So it's yeah. like, uh, you know, do you need that when you've already got a contact? Maybe not, or maybe you just add it here in this white area. But if we do that, everything jumps up. She's uh, what I like. You know, cool brand, really impactful image here. Nice color palette, consistent color palette. It's not overcrowded, that kind of thing. I think, um, again, going back to the copywriting, like this is a cool quote. Catherine, this is uh, Catherine. I think she's uh, so cool. hi, Catherine, if this is you. Hey, Catherine. So, yeah, really nice looking website. Um, for me, if you go down and it's saying like graphic design for small businesses with big ideas, that starts to get to the heart of what you offer, who you offer it for, um, and that kind of thing. I would be putting that here. Because I feel like this is almost more for, um, I don't know, I feel like this, this is more for designers, this quote, than potential clients. It's nice and it's arty, but it's not that clear uh, in terms of what you actually offer and what you can do for people. Yeah. So I would perhaps um, get rid of that, put this kind of thing up here. Again, I'm getting a little bit of like um, overwhelm with the number of fonts, because mm -hmm. I'm getting like a font here, different font here, different font for the logo. So I'd love to see that strip back where it's like maybe you've got this clean sans font and then you could have this logo font used perhaps for like more arty bits throughout the site. Yeah. Because when I'm looking at this, and I think this is a, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is a different font as well. So I would use the body font in this call to action as well because then you've just got this consistent font weaving throughout with like maybe this one for, for call outs. Yeah. But this is great visual hierarchy. This is really, really positive because what do I do? I read this first and then I read this text. She's using this kind of bolded bit nicely and then yeah. big, big, nice clean button and I, I know exactly where to click. So this is beautiful. This is what I've been getting at with a lot of the websites. Rather than pulling my eye in a thousand directions and trying to cram everything on the page, it just flows really nicely down. <clears throat> yeah, and you can see right here. So using that accented font again, really beautiful. This is nicely padded, nice color palette really flows down clean font i feel like this lacks any context and it's one of the uh the dreaded scrollers unfortunately so there's there's some cool work here um but straight away it's like i kind of want to look at it and then it's gone and it vanishes and they're very small so it's like could we maybe pull out the best two or three make them a lot bigger give them that context let people really kind of pour through them a little bit more um Oh, have I got time for one final one, SJ? You, I know you have to run. 
you've got about five minutes. <laughs> okay, five minutes. All right. Um, I know Dave is next, and Dave's been in the comments anticipating you get into his site. Okay, okay cool. All right. So, so Dave, um, <laughs> we made it. <laughs> Dave redid his recently based on the call with Preston and myself. Uh, I think it's looking really cool. Bring your business to life with modern design. Get in I think touch. Dave's redone it twice in, in the past couple of months or something. I saw in the comments earlier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, so hi, I'm a graphic designer based in Lanarkshire, Scotland. Let me help your business stand out from the crowd by creating a bespoke design for you, compelling logo designs. Um, that feels a bit floaty. Again, alignment, I'd have that here and there's a huge amount of padding um, as I'm going through. Really cool how, how you've got the work to the side, although again, not sure about the scroller. I'd rather see a grid, to be honest, <laughs> than a scroller. Um, huge amounts of negative space here. This site's kind of drowning in negative space and not necessarily in a good way. So I'd be pulling these up because I'm just getting lost in it. Um, go through again, got some alignment here. Good buttons like all over the place. And because there's so much black negative background space, they're kind of just like floating. It feels like they're floating in the universe or something. Mm -hmm. um, overall, uh, definitely a really positive step. I think this is super slick um, and clean as a brand. I think this is nice as well. Um, I'm not a hun. <laughs> Not 100% sure. It's, it's kind of like showing off your own brand and your own background. This may be, um, might, might be nice to show some client work there, potentially, as you build that up. And um, this gap is vast. So it's literally you pushed your call to action button below the fold um, for no real reason. I would be bringing this right up to be somewhere around here on the page, have the call to action underneath that. I would experiment with diff different copywriting. So talk to um, clients, potential clients, friends, people on social media, and split test it. So ask people which they prefer and come up with variants on the headline because come up with like 20 versions of this and I guarantee there might be one that has a bit more life to it and one that uh, is even clearer and cooler and grabs people's attention. And then same thing, loads of space above here, loads of space, like there's practically nothing on the page at this point. So why do I want to keep scrolling? So I, I would really condense that area um, up. But overall, um, kind of like the uh, the last website, right? Look at that. It's like I just want to read down and take things one at a time, and it feels very balanced. Here I am starting to kind of – I've got the center text here, and then I shift over here, then I've got a button over here, then I've got loads of space, and then it's back over here. Um, so I, I would just focus on that visual flow of how the eye moves down the page uh, in a slightly more balanced way because it's a little bit floaty right now. That being said, these are really easy, really small changes. So this is not a back to the drawing board scenario. This is like it being this close, Dave. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure with a few tweaks and moving it from version two to version three, it's going to be a, a really, really stunning website. So Dave, great job with that. Dave has put a couple of questions in the chat if I can fire them at you quickly, Tom. Okay. Um, um, I, oh, I hate this, by the way. I think we might have to do round two. Um, we're we, we can ask if people want round two. Hopefully it was helpful. We've Let's also see. had more websites sent in since being live on the call. So. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop sharing at this point. Um, oh, okay. it's, it's lovely to see your lovely comments, guys. <laughs> I've been out, out of the loop. Dave, uh, should I make that top banner image smaller? As question one. And question two was bring more things for from the learn more pages onto the home page question mark. Um, my head is frazzled because I've just been talked for 90 minutes. Can you repeat both questions, please? Okay, question one, should I make that top banner image smaller? Uh, what, as in the entire area? With the logos, I put there, the business cards. The business card, yeah, 100%. It's massive right now. I would like half it in size and condense everything up so it's more focused. The comments are now going crazy. Everyone's shouting round two, so I've lost yeah. eight questions. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. yeah. Number two was um, bring more things from the learn more pages onto the homepage. Question mark. Um, what's uh, I'm going to have to have a look at this. <laughs> two texts. Uh, learn more. Yeah, where is the learn? More, oh yeah. yeah, learn more. Okay, let me have a look at that. Should we bring that onto the homepage? Uh, modern learn logo designs. Da -da -da. Um, yeah. So the learn more for anyone interested is kind of. He said uh, that they go into other pages at the moment, so it's obviously taking them away. Yeah. Um, yes, I, I would, 100%. So some, something which I kept saying on this call is, like, have your best work, not all of it, your absolute best, then have the, the project name, then have a little bit of context about the project, preferably a, a concise testimonial in there, um, and maybe some key wins about that project. Give it all to them on the homepage, because expecting them to hover over, click through, read through an essay about the project, they're not going to care as much as you do. So giving it on that plate and following that up with like like what you see here, get in touch and I want to do the same for you. 
Um, no, the main page wouldn't be a lot longer because you want to be ruthless, um, Dave, in, in terms of like strip out some of what you've got. We can go through this on Instagram when we've got more time as well. But um, strip out some of what you've got ruthlessly, get down to the bare bones. And then like I kept saying today, get down to the bare bones and then expand upon the bare bones by making them more impactful and like, you know, really, um, I can't even talk anymore. It's been so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so Jeff made a really good suggestion, Tom, just whilst we're getting to the end and wrapping up, that it would be really helpful to have like a main summary of the points that kind of kept cropping up um, over on the, the new Facebook group. So if you can get them over to me, then I will post yep. them for everyone to check out. And as you saw in the comments, everyone is completely and utterly up for a round two. Yeah. Um, so we do actually have um, someone booked next week, but perhaps the week after we could get you back on to pick up from where we left off. See how you yeah, get it out. Yeah, I mean, you've been the one looking at the comments. I have no idea what the engagement was like. Hopefully, it was helpful. Yeah, <laughs> um, exactly. In fact, I feel do like you want to just explain the business chat we've had in a while? Do you want to massage my ego, guys? Can you just put yes if it was helpful? You <laughs> <laughs> uh, did amazing, Tom. Uh, I'm, I'm exhausted too, Amy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, we just have a quick round of applause for everyone in Australia who's like 2 30 oh, a.m. Unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't tell you how much yeah thank you I, re I really appreciate everyone jumping on today um be sure that green button below this video click it even if you're not going to watch it now i promise you it's like a lot of what i talked about today but like you can go through it at your own pace very systematically um and it's a really helpful guide for how to improve your website so what I'm I, just, do no, I needed this <laughs> If you guys aren't already, please go and jump over to our Facebook group, the Design Cuts community over on Facebook. Um, I will pop in everything that Tom's covered today. For those of you, perhaps if we didn't get round to, um, we'll do like a poll or something for you guys to kind of vote whether you want to do this again and yep. somewhere else that you can leave the links for us to check out. Um, so keep your eyes on the website and over on our Facebook group for, for the next um, round. Um, cool. we will get Tom back uh, and we'll yeah on. i think looking at the feedback i'd love to do round two i i really like this stuff it's fun um and yeah you guys have been awesome so i'd love to come back and do the other half and we talked for ages didn't we about matt and i doing this show where we yeah. could do people's work so but yeah so this and obviously if you guys this this video stays once we finish the live stream you can come back and watch it anytime so if you wanted to make notes if you didn't quite catch something or if you went too fast for your particular site please do come back and uh, check it out. And um, you can always message either myself or Tom with any questions you might have. Um, but otherwise, we'll hope to see you all here next time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and everyone watching, when you click on the green button, hit subscribe on my YouTube show because I put out all kinds of tips like this. So, uh, yeah, I hope it's valuable. SJ, you need to get to a lovely dinner with your wonderful husband. So okay. I'll let you crack on. You, you, are, you are a wonderful host. It, it was weird being on this side of it. <laughs> <laughs> and no, uh, see you this time next week well i actually won't be here next week so oh. tom's doing on his own and it's your birthday next week oh yeah so <laughs> you'll have to be really nice for him he's gonna be on his own <laughs> I'm gonna try and get all the attention away from the guests just to celebrate yeah <laughs> <laughs> we'll get some balloons in the background or something for you yeah exactly <laughs> you need your own show about it Oh my god, don't just uh, never shut up then. Thank you for being here. We love you yeah, guys. Thank you, you guys. Soon. See you soon. All right, bye. bye.